Welcome to Hardcore Garage. Unexpected repairs, unexpected maintenance. Let's discuss that today. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I've got some front brake drag, obviously. This time, well, no, I won't be switching any calibers, I don't think, anyway. Never know until you get it apart, I guess. Um, still got issues where I bled my brakes uh, late, way late, way, way, way late. So my anti-lock loves to just kick on randomly when I push the brakes. Um, I've heard that you got to do some kind of scan to be able to clear the manifolds or something. I don't know. It's, I'm sure it's going to be a pain in my butt whenever it gets done. This thing needs to go into the, I don't know if it necessarily needs to go to the dealership, but it ought to go to a shop sometime and just be all tightened up and looked at. But I stopped at Advanced Auto and grabbed me some new brakes for the front. And we're going to do that sure most of you know how to do brakes but for those that don't maybe this will help you out let's check it out i'm johnny garage johnson and this is squeaky brake garage visual inspection that still feels pretty smooth there I can't really see the pad too much but I don't I don't think there's much left in it unless my squeaking is coming from somewhere else but I did notice this okay you can see that CV boot there is obviously bad are these little grooves here is that something supposed to be there to hold the end of that CV boot when you put it on this guy right here is our grooves under this keep it from sliding around or something hitting that I don't know what it would be hitting so you got two bolts to pull the calipers just like on any other vehicle one here one here and they're 18 millimeter I always use my magic make it or break it bar Use a big screwdriver. <laughs> Here we go. Oh yeah, crustiness. Dual pin calipers. Actually, the brakes don't look so bad, so it's probably. Probably something else causing my issues. Yeah, those pads aren't bad at all. Maybe I just needed some lube on the slides or something. We'll see though. Hopefully I'll be able to compress this. Or maybe I had a bad caliper. Never can really tell, huh? This is where everyone says. There's a better way to do that, Johnny. <laughs> Not the ideal way to do this, probably, but it looks like it's working. There's actually a tool. You want to call yourself a mechanic, you buy the right tool. So you don't have to do it like this. I can see. I can see, uh fluid coming out over there. Master cylinders overflowing looks like maybe. Check these to there's definitely an D1 and do no, I don't know why I thought I saw a difference. Those are identical, so there are no fronts and backs. You always want to make sure you lick this stuff here, too, it's really good for your health. Um, here we go clips. Okay. 
Whoa. Let's look at these clips here. They go down, huh? Facing down, so showing like that. That looks like that. Looks like it's all the way on there to me. So that's what little that little thing there, I think, is what scrapes whenever your pads get too low. I'm probably lying. That's my guess. <laughs> This is where the fun begins, is trying to get these back in there on show of it. Okay, wait. Is there a left and a right of these? Looks like there is. Yep, left and right. Check that out. So, which one's the left and which, I think they could, left, left. There is a left and right clip. How the clip is open on the back side there. So I assume we're gonna look at all of them just like I'm holding them to do the left clips on the left. <laughs> Either that or we're screwing it up. <laughs> all right, I had the clips on backwards. You're gonna look at them. Yeah, the things ain't even on, yeah, it is left. You look at them from this side here, the back side. Left goes on the left. That way your, your little uh, clip is, is you have the back side of it here. I'm not sure if that's your springy thing or, I don't know guys, I ain't a mechanic, but, but they was in there wrong when I switched them around after I stared at this one over here for a little bit and seen it, that it was open on the inside. I decided to flip them around and it went right in, fronts and back. So we're good to go there. Your caliper back on there and just make sure that you don't wrinkle these rubber boots, shove it over, get everything lined up, get your bolts back in there and tighten her down. You should be good to go. Looky there, instructions. If I just learned to read. Okay, so this is the driver's side. The boots both look okay on this side. So it's got a little weird rubbing right there, and it, there's no way that's hitting anything. It's just weird. This outside one here didn't even have any clips in it, so I think that might be my issue. Um, this smooth as ever. There's no grooving or anything. You got, you got to make sure you smear some grease on your brakes there. They'll last longer. But so I'm hoping that that was my problem. Was that one didn't have any clips? And uh, we got a big chunk of brake missing out there too. That's kind of strange. So that pretty much took care of the squeaky brakes. Uh, I'd call that like a honestly, man. We had less than 15 minutes on each side taking the tires off. So something you can easily do at your house as long as you don't run into any other issues when you're doing that or you know something stuck broke rusted should be a fairly easy fix i don't even remember what i paid for the brakes 50 60 bucks maybe who knows but we are done back to some other projects we are working on let me show you in the background here what i've been working on that'll be my next video probably back there in the cabin been doing a little work Got to check it out, man. Everybody wants to live free or as budget friendly as you can. This is one way you can do it. Um, stay tuned. <laughs> Keep on trucking.